All right, here we are. So a block for today, and we are going to start sitting in Sukhasana. Oh, one more thing over here. And so let's all sit with the right leg crossed in front. So I'll be the only one who has to remember. And using those arms alongside, lengthening up. Is there a little shifting or squinging you want to do here? And then finishing up with that, bringing those hands to rest on the knees, pouring down the sides of the neck off the tops of the shoulders. And that strong center line lengthening up, sides of the body being more easeful, pouring down. You think of that inhale coming up the center line and exhale going down the sides. So I was just moving my arms with the movement of the breath. So if you want to add the arms for a moment and really feel that, you can. So that is the path of our breath. Inhale up the center, exhale, extending out, pouring down the sides, kind of like a fountain. And then we'll reach out wide through the collarbones, through the fingertips. And we'll breathe those arms up overhead. Two long parallel sides. Let's interlock the fingers, turning the palms up, give the elbows a pull, pressing up, grounding down. Long and flat against the wall behind you. And so even though we have now a press up with the sides, we can still have an up the center, down the sides at the same time. That's one of the nice things about the subtle body inside, those energetic pathways, is you can be doing two things at the same time. And then let's take a twist to the right oh. and slowly release the hands, left hand on the right knee, right hand to the floor, deepening into the twist. Once again, finding that inhale up the center, exhale, pouring down the side. And coming back to the center, let's breathe those arms up again. And once more interlocking the fingers, maybe changing the cross of the fingers there, turning the palms up, standing up, rounding down, inhaling up the center, exhale, pouring down the side. And then we'll twist to the left, lifting up, twist left, 
Release the hands, right hand to the left knee, left hand to the floor, deepening into the twist. Using that fountain up the center, down the sides. And back to the center. Deep breath here, letting all that settle in your body. And then we will make our way down to the floor. So getting your block, we'll be doing the block under the sacrum to start. And you can get down by any means, but maybe taking a nice deliberate roll down, sitting with the legs bent, feet on the floor. Lengthening up and then it'll contract. Feel like you're tucking the tailbone under and a little scoop up there as you slowly come down vertebrae by vertebrae using the sides of the legs, maybe hands on the floor. Ah, oh, and we land on the floor and getting hold of that block, lifting up block under the sacrum and extending the legs out. Oh, opening up the front of the hip joint. So being a little easeful for a couple breaths. Inhaling up into the lower belly. Exhale, pouring off the block. And then cooperating with the block, making those legs parallel, flex the feet reaching for the opposite wall. You can use your hands on the block near your waist, giving a press there, a little more length in the lower back. And see if you can engage those abdominal muscles on the top, drawing up to do some of that same action we get pressing our hands on the block. So you can keep the hands there if you like, or bringing the arms down alongside, and we will take a few breaths here. Well, maybe more than a few. And maybe finding that inhale up the center line, exhale. Pouring down the sides, a little reach down through the arms out the fingertips, reach down through the heels. And one or two more deep breaths here. And then we'll bend the knees, lifting up off the block, taking the block out, rolling down. Let's come up in the bridge pose. So placing those heels under the knees, feet nice and flat on the floor, tuck the tailbone up, peeling up off the floor, maybe interlocking the fingers underneath. And then Inhale, drawing up the center line. Exhale, pouring down the sides. How does that feel here in this pose?
and then rolling down. Oh, landing on the floor. And we'll get our block again. And then the block is going to go under the shoulders. So finding your spot and your height of the block. So we want the shoulder blades on the block, not the back of the rib cage, getting that settled. And then you can keep the legs straight or maybe going to Bodhiko Nasana, feet together, knees out to the side. And using the hands, getting hold of the base of the skull there to really lengthen that neck out and over. And then as you're ready, releasing the arms, letting them land wherever works for you. And we'll take a few breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling, really opening up the upper chest, a little stretch of the ribs. And then feeling that inhale up the center line, exhale down the sides. How does that feel in this shape? So let's add our arms to that. So bringing the arms down alongside. And then we're going to reach the arms up toward the ceiling, up and overhead. That's our inhale up the center line. Exhale, reaching the arms wide down the sides. Exhale, down the sides. Let's do that a few more times. So don't worry if you're not sure you're doing exactly the same arm thing I am. It doesn't matter all that much. It's the intention with the breath that's important. Inhale up the center, exhale down the sides. And then we will finish with that, letting the arms land somewhere again, taking another breath or two here. And then making your way up off the block. And we'll go to the cross legs with the left leg in front. Finding that long and spacious spine again, and then coming forward, pouring over. Now breathing into the back of the body, opening that up. And let's walk the hands over to the right diagonal. Really reaching long along the left side, feeling that left sitting bone anchoring down. And then walking the hands through the center over to the left. 
And a big long reach out through the right side, right sitting bone anchoring down. And back to the center. Coming um, up, unfurling that spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, back up on top of the sitting bones. Taking a moment, letting all that settle in your body. And then let's slide those legs straight out in front, maybe right together, maybe a little space between the legs, and we will come forward. Pressing with the hands, the hands on the floor, on the legs, easing yourself over. Back in the knees, opening against the floor. And then let's think about that breath again. Inhale, coming up the center line. Exhale, all the way down the sides. So that exhale down the sides has to do a little hairpin turn there. At least in the physical body. And then coming up, and we will make our way up to downward facing dog. And then once you're there walking the dog or anything else you want to do. And then finding the best downward facing dog, you can do it this moment. Nothing moving but the breath. And let's lengthen forward to the plank. Long and flat against the ceiling. Inhale up through the center, exhale, pouring down through the sides or pouring back through the sides. You can even take a little movement there, a little draw forward on the inhale, a little press back through the heels on the exhale. And then we'll make our way down to the floor onto our stomach. So you can knees, chest, chin, or any other means necessary. Let's set those knees down on the floor. Big arch in the lower back, pulling the sitting bones back, pulling that upper chest forward, shoulders down by the fingertips, deep in that arch, arches, and sliding out into the small cobra. So here we all are, small cobra, and rolling down. And then let's flying cobra. So picking the hands up off the floor, but the arms are still in the cobra position, and then lifting up, lifting the legs, pressing the upper back up a little more. Really squeeze the elbows in and pull them back. And then taking the arms out to the sides. Big reach, fingertip to fingertip. And 
And then take a moment to inhale up the center line, exhale down the sides. And pulling the arms back into that floating cobra position. Really squeeze the elbows in, work the back of the arms. Setting the hands down on the, of the floor, setting the feet down, and then maybe pressing down and lifting up a little higher. And rolling down. And then we will peel ourselves up off the floor and coming back to downward facing dog. And let's walk our hands back to the feet into the forward bend. All right, so what's going to happen if we inhale up the center line and exhale down the sides in this position? And then let's take a concave back, hands on the shins, lengthening out the front of the body. Pouring over once more, coming up to standing. Big front body yawn. Pressing the arms down, sides down, center line up. Let's circle the shoulders, three front to back. And two, and one. Then going the other direction. And one more front to the back. Interlocking those fingers behind, rolling the shoulders out, pressing the backs of the hands down. And we'll lengthen up the front of the body to lift the chest, to lift the chin. And coming forward, pressing out through the hands. And then releasing the hands. Concave back, folding over. Walking out to downward facing dog. And then so we walk forward, but then get that press back in the legs again. And through the vinyasa, any version forward to the plank. So I'm going to do small chaturanga myself. And upward facing dog. Inhaling up the center line. Exhale down the sides. And downward facing dog. And let's lift the right leg up, reaching long through the heel. Reach a little more. And dog at the high fire hydrant, opening up that right hip, holding the left leg steady. And through to the lunge. Lengthen that lunge out, top of the head out the left foot. And then pressing the tailbone down to bring that left knee down, coming up in Anjayasana, the kneeling lunge. And then we will twist to the right, come, with the, come to the arms parallel to the floor first, twisting right. Pull a little more, left arm hooks over the right leg, reach a little more, and then bringing that right arm around to Namaste. Inhaling up the center, exhaling down the side. And 
and then namaste in the center. Hands to the floor, straighten up that left leg. Stepping back to the plank, and once more, we're making our way down to the floor. So I'm going to knees, chest, chin again, but you could do something different. Knees down, big arch, pulling forward, and sliding out to the small cobra. And coming down. So we're all here in the cobra position. And let's, we're going to keep the hands on the floor, but as we lift up in the upper body, lift that left leg up, the left leg. And then bending the left knee. So you might not feel the lift very much in the upper body. Your left knee might and thigh might go back down to the floor. But just pause there a moment, working those muscles. And then extending down. Bringing the arms forward to the sphinx. And once more, bend the left leg. And then we will reach back with the left hand to get hold of that left ankle, or maybe not. And press the left ankle into the left hand. Lift up, maybe that left thigh will come up off the floor, maybe not. And then bring that left leg down, extend it out, back to the sphinx. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale up the center, exhale down the sides. And then peeling up off the floor, making our way back to downward facing dog. You can put in another vinyasa on the way if you like. And then we'll do that same thing on the left. So there's our left leg. Let's lift it up. And lengthening it up a little more. Bend the knee dog at the high fire hydrant. Holding that right leg steady so you can make it a stretch there, pulling that left knee up and over. And then through to the lunge. And take a moment lengthening from the top of the head out the right heel. And then bringing that right knee down, coming up in the Jayasana. And we'll twist to the left, arms parallel to the floor. Pause there, reach a little wider. And then we'll tilt forward, hooking the right arm across, pull a little more through that left. And then around to Namaste. I'm feeling that inhale up the center, exhale, pouring down the sides. And then namaste back to the center, hands down, straightening up that right leg. And stepping back to the plank, and making our way to the floor, knees, chest, chin, or something else. And we're all in the small cobra, and then taking a roll down. All right, still in the cobra position, we're going to lift up, lifting our right leg. So a little press down with the hands, lift with the upper back, lifting the right leg up. And then bend that right knee, doing your best to keep the right thigh off the floor or at least light.
and then bringing all of that down. And we'll take the arms forward into the space. Elbows under the shoulders, reaching out. And then once again, lengthening through the right leg, bending that right leg. And then we'll reach back with the right hand to get the hold of the right outer ankle. And doing our best to lift the right thigh without straining though. Just lengthen and pressing that right foot into the right hand. And we'll bring the right leg down. And into the sphinx, pulling everything forward and back, evening the two sides out. And then let's reach through the legs, bending both legs. And then we'll reach back for those ankles and into the bow pose, Dhanurasana. And inhale up the front center line, exhale down the sides. And coming down. And then feeling ourselves up, we'll come on to all floors, taking a few cats and cows. And then let's expand back up to downward facing dog. And so you can go through a vinyasa here if you like. Forward to the flank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And then we will once again walk those hands back to the feet at the back of the mat. And to Uttanasana, the forward bend. Inhaling up the center line, exhale, pouring down the side. Taking a concave back halfway up. Holding over, coming up to standing, big front body yawn. And arms down, center line up. All right, so let's all have our feet hip distance apart, so not right together. As we take a circle with those shoulders to interlock the fingers behind. Lengthening up the front of the body to lift the chest, to lift the chin. Pausing here. See if you can find some of that work in the back from when we were doing back bends on our stomach a moment ago. Pressing down through the feet. Contracting, not just hanging there, letting gravity pull us back. And then coming forward, pressing out through the hands. And we'll take the twist here. So it, it works, but it's a lot easier, there we go, with the feet hip distance apart. 
So as we bend the left knee and pull the hands left, we twist right, bringing the left shoulder to the left knee. And coming back to the center, other side, bending the right knee, pulling the hands right, twisting left, right shoulder to the right knee. Back to the center and release the hands. Walking out to downward facing dog, we walk forward and then really press back and through the vinyasa. And let's lift the right leg up. Reaching long through the heel. Dock at the high fire hydrant again. And through to the lunge. Coming up in either the high lunge or the warrior one. Feeling the back of the body, feeling all that back bending work. Inhale up the center line, exhale, pouring down the sides. And then up and over into the um, elephant rider, pressing those knees out. And then let's do the slide. So shifting to the left, you can let that right hand come to the floor as you shift, give you a little bit of steadiness. And then shifting through the center over to the right. So we're not really trying to go low here. It's more of a parallel to the floor side to side. And doing that back and forth a few more times. And then we will finish with this sliding left and right. And coming back to the center for a moment. And straightening up, bringing those arms up overhead into the three pointed star. Feel like you're lifting a little higher. And press the arms down, turning the feet to parallel. Let's rotate out the right leg 90 degrees. And into the warrior to your inner thigh, to the inner knee, to the center of the foot. And so where's our inhale up the center, exhale down the sides here. And then let's add some movement to that. So we'll inhale, straighten the legs, bringing the arms up, they lift up the center. Exhale, pressing wide back into the warrior two. So maybe make sure you're breathing as strongly down that left side as the right. So we don't end up pulled over here to the right. Let's do that three times. Inhale, straighten the leg up the center. Exhale, pulling wide down the sides twice more. The 
we are back in the warrior number two and then tilting into the triangle straightening up that right leg but tilting over And then pressing that left arm back and a reach behind you, big circle around with the left arm. You bring you back down to the lunge, step into the plank through the vinyasa, downward facing dog. And we'll do that on the left. So let's lift our left leg up. And all the way to dog at the high fire blanket. Through to the lunge. And we will come up with either the high lunge or the warrior number one. Finding that inhale up the center, exhale pouring down the sides all the way through the legs. And then up and over into the elephant rider. And we'll just take two sets of slides um, right, left, right, left. Sliding to the right, sliding to the left. Once more. And back to the center. Pressing the feet down into the floor, coming up three pointed star. Lift a little more. Arms reach wide, feet to parallel. We'll rotate the left leg out 90 degrees into the warrior number two. And then find that up the center, down the side. So we want that down the sides to go all the way through the legs. Even as, a, even as at the same time, we reach those sitting bones down to the floor as those sides go down as well. And then we'll add the arms and the straightening left leg. Inhale, left leg straightens, right leg draws up as well. Hands come up into that center line, lifting. Exhale, pouring down the sides, evenly on the right and the left. And we'll do that three more times. Finishing in the warrior number two. And then we'll tilt into the triangle, straightening that left leg again, but tilting over. Oh, and breathing.
And then a press back with that right arm, trying to open the front of the right shoulder a little more. And then reaching that arm behind and all the way down to the lunge, stepping back through the vinyasa or not downward facing dog. And then we'll all come down, sitting back in child's pose. And then coming up, let's come up onto our knees. And that's right, Ustasana, the camel pose. So knees hip distance apart. Take a few moments doing a short Tadasana here. Up the front, down the back. Pulling those hip bones up a little, dropping the tailbone down a little. So often we have to do those actions a little more strongly on the knees because we like to hinge back like this, especially kneeling. All right, and then let's switch to up the center, down the sides. So of course, all those directions are happening at once. Just a matter of which one we're focusing on. And then can you let those sides go all the way down and make that little turn and go out the feet. And we'll go into Ustrasana at the back bend, bringing your hands around. You can have the thumb and index finger around or maybe fingertips pointed down on the sacrum, going up and over. And here too, we want to be contracting those back muscles and not just hanging there. As if we were on our belly on the wall in front of us. And then thinking, inhale up the center line, exhale, pouring down the sides, all the way out the feet. And coming back up, strong center line. Ah, and we'll do that once more. So you can bring the hands further to the ankles. Maybe once more needs to be a little gentler back bend for you. All right, here we go. Inhale and exhale, finding that strength. And then feeling the up the center, down the sides. Taking three or four more deep breaths here. And then we'll make our way back up. Ah. Take a big stretch overhead with the arms and do a contract back. So maybe you can take yourself all the way to the heels into child's pose from here, but don't endanger the knees. Bring those hands down if you need to, to assist your way down. When we all will land in child's pose, breathing into the back of the body.
coming up. So we will do the pigeon, or you can come down to the floor and do the figure four or whatever else you would like. So, and of course, there's the just bring the leg forward and do the pigeon, or we can fly to the pigeon. So let's let's make flying to the pigeon the default today, but doing whatever version or something completely different works for you. All right, line to the pigeoners. We come up and downward facing dog. And we'll lift that right leg up dog at the high fire hydrant. So if you're feeling especially ambitious, maybe water falling to the wild thing, or you can just take that right knee right to the right elbow to the pigeon. So water falling to the wild thing. And then if you're there, what happens with inhale up the front uh, or inhale up the center line, exhale down the sides here. And then making your way to the pigeon if you're not there yet. Right knee to the right elbow to the floor, taking a few breaths in the cobra action. And then coming forward, sleeping pigeon. So the pigeon is very much up, up the center line, down the sides kind of pose. But maybe we don't want to think about it so much anymore. A little more ease, a little more surrender. And then coming up, and we will go to the other side. All right, so flyers, we're up and down, we're facing dog. Don't rush through things, take a breath, really be in your dog. And then lift that left leg up. And dog at the high fire hydrant, feeling that, maybe continuing with wild thing, pouring yourself over or right to the pigeon. And especially if you're in the wild thing, thinking about that inhale up the center line, exhale down the sides. And then we'll all make our way to the pigeon. Left knee to the left elbow to the pigeon. Oh, taking a few breaths in that cobra action. And coming forward.
And taking a few more breaths, inhale and exhale. Really letting yourself feel that easefulness. And then moving the fingers and toes, getting the circulation going, maybe circling the wrist and the ankles, stretching those arms up overhead. And bending the knees to gently make your way up to sitting. And sitting in any comfortable position with that long and spacious spine, taking a few more moments, sitting quietly inside yourself. Namaste. Thank you for coming.